The British government has unveiled a new vaccine research facility where scientists are working to prevent future pandemics. It's located at Porton Down, a high security research facility best known for its work on chemical warfare. Experts are preparing for what is known as Disease X or the next pandemic virus. Our health correspondent Dominic Hughes was given rare access to the facility. The delicate task of protecting the nation's health. This is one of the laboratories at Porton Down where scientists are analysing current threats, new variants of COVID, for example, and trying to identify new ones. Inside these purpose-built labs, more than 200 scientists working for the UK Health Security Agency are helping to develop and test vaccines against a range of diseases. It's vital work to keep us all safe. We've got in many respects the toughest um, job in the world, which is to protect health against infectious diseases and environmental hazards. And it is tough because we know that, that the risks of new and emerging infections, including those of pandemic potential, is increasing. For decades, scientists at Porton Down have been involved in medical research, as well as the work on chemical and biological warfare for which the centre is perhaps better known. During the pandemic, laboratories like this one played an absolutely vital role in assessing how effective the vaccines were in combating the coronavirus, and that work continues today. But as well as monitoring how effective existing vaccines are against new COVID variants, the new Vaccine Development and Evaluation Centre is looking at emerging threats for which no vaccine yet exists. One of those is Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever, a virus that is spread by the bite of an infected tick and is fatal in about 30% of cases. A serious outbreak occurred in Afghanistan in 2017, but the disease is widespread across Africa, Asia, the Middle East and the Balkans. Changes to climate and the way we live mean viruses like this one could find a way to the UK. But equally, the next pandemic could be caused by a virus that has yet to be identified, what experts call disease X. Dangers known and unknown. These scientists will be working to make sure we're prepared for both. Dominic Hughes, BBC News, Porton Down. Well, on that very issue of disease X, I've been speaking to Professor Dame Jenny Harries. She's the chief executive of the UK Health Security Agency. And I asked her how scientists prepare for a threat when they don't know what that threat is. So that is the challenge which I think you heard our Chief Scientific Officer, Professor Isabel Oliver, describe. Um, but there are a number of steps that we can take. We can be better prepared in terms of surveillance, and we're doing that work separately. Uh, but what we do in the UKHSA labs at Porton Down, which is separate, I might say, from the Ministry of Defence uh, facilities for chemical warfare, is get ourselves ready both to uh, isolate the new pathogens, uh, to develop assays so that we can test them accurately and to work with other partners, with academics and with um, pharmaceutical companies uh, to test out prototypes for vaccines um, and then be ready to evaluate them. And the really exciting thing about uh, the legacy from the pandemic is we now have 2,800 square metres of uh, laboratory space we didn't have before and we're using that as part of our new strategy uh, to ensure we're as best prepared as we can be for, for new pathogens and some existing ones. What would you say is the most important lesson that was learned from the pandemic? So I think uh, I was going to say partnership was the immediate work that comes to mind. And that's um, uh, obviously we see that when we uh, work with our directors of public health, for example, in responding to all sorts of infectious disease and uh, chemical and radiological incidents. But actually it applies very much to working with industry as well. Uh, the Vaccine Task Force was the group which originally supported this uh, investment in laboratory space at Porton Down at the UKHSA uh, site there. Um, and it is that continuing work which we are planning to continue going forward so that we are ready working together as soon as a pathogen appears and actually obviously beforehand so we're prepping as fast as we can. There is that target of being able to deploy hopefully a vaccine within 100 days of the threat being identified. How close are you to that particular target to making that realistic? So that is a, a, an ambition, so to get from an identified uh, pathogen to a, a vaccine and, and to therapeutics within 100 days. I mean, to put it in context, that's about 
uh, a third of the time uh, that it took us to get uh, a COVID vaccine uh, into people's arms. And that was an outstanding record. Usually it takes about five to 10 years for a new vaccine to, to come through. So it is a really challenging ambition and it won't work for all viruses and bacteria. Some are different shapes, some are more difficult to incorporate quickly. But I do think it is possible for many. And the more we think about it in advance, the more likely we are to achieve it. And that's what the purpose uh, of our new vaccine development and evaluation centre is.